Hi there, and welcome to part three in a five-part series of tutorials geared around making deep house, tech house, deep tech type sounds in Native Instruments Massive. In this tutorial, we're going to be making a deep tech sequence. And we're going to move through this tutorial fairly quickly. It's a, quite a complex sound, so if you've got any questions about this sound and how we put it together, then just drop us a shout. Um, it's quite a nice sequency type sound, this. It's not really exclusive to kind of deep tech genres. It's quite a soundscapey sort of atmospheric sound as well, so let's take a listen to it here. Okay, so let's start off by creating a new sound and then start programming the oscillators. So for oscillator one, we're going to make it a triangle wave and we're going to take the pitch down by one octave. Keep the wave table position all the way to the right, intensity on full. Bring the amp down to about a quarter of the way and it's going to be rooting to both filter one and filter two. Oscillator two, turn that on. Uh, it's going to stay as a sawtooth wave, so the wavetable position stays all the way to the right, intensity on full. Bring the amp down to zero. We're going to start modulating this in a second and turn on oscillator three. We're going to take the pitch down by minus five semitones. Keep it as a sawtooth wave. Keep the intensity on full. Bring the amp down a little bit and it's going to be rooted to both filter one and filter two. And... We're going to activate a daft filter in here, turn the cutoff right down to zero and the resonance right down to zero. Uh, the volume of the filter is going to stay on full and the mix slide of the two filters is going to be all the way to mix one. And what we're going to do now is start modulating a few things. So for this second LFO, I'm going to make this a performer and this is going to modulate the cutoff. It's also going to modulate the amps of both oscillator one and oscillator two slightly different amounts but you can dial this to taste really and um, we're going to sync this performer it's going to be one over 16 and i'm going to start sort of making some patterns here if we listen to it now So I'm going to keep these shapes in the top and bottom half of this performer, but just start moving some stuff around, you know, just to create a bit more of an interesting pattern, really. So. So you can just kind of play with these sounds. You don't need to get it exactly the same as this, but you're just getting an idea of how we can create a, a bit of a pattern, a bit of a sequence within the sound. And then with these two patterns kind of drawn in, You know, we can move the X phase sequence and uh, we're starting to get more of a kind of complex kind of pattern going on. So what I'm going to do next is kind of bring an arpeggiator into the sound, really. I'm going to make this third LFO. I'm going to make this a stepper. And this is going to modulate the pitch of all three oscillators. And uh, we're going to take the modulation up by plus 12 semitones. Do the same for oscillator two and oscillator three. And this isn't going to have an effect on the sound until we start drawing in some values here. We're going to sync it first. The ratio is going to be one over 16. And um, and then take the second the second step up by uh, three, three semitones, and the fourth up by three, and the sixth up by three, and the eighth kind of up by an octave. And the tenth is going to go up by three. Twelfth is going to go up by three. And the last one, the sixteenth, is going to go up by plus seven semitones. So. Getting quite a nice sequence there, and it's kind of arpeggiating the sound a little bit. And what we've got here with Massive as well is this glide modulation. So what I can do is when I start activating some of these here, you see these get highlighted. What's going to happen now is going to get a glide in these notes, what I've highlighted. So here so we can dial the amount of glide here by just sliding this this slider up so i'm going to put highlight a couple of these keep the keep the glide modulation not too high you know just about a quarter of the way up and so now it's just going to kind of glide on some of those notes 
All right then, so this first LFO here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of a sort of auto filter, the low pass filter. And what we're going to do, we're going to use insert one to do this. So I'm going to make this, activate the high pass, low pass filter there. Take that down so the high pass is effectively off. And then drag, your, drag the modulation of this first LFO over to this low pass here. Drag the mod modulation amount up to there. And going to sync this. It's going to be a ratio of 1 over 1. Make sure the LFO is a sine wave. And we're just getting a bit more, ev even more movement now in the sound with this kind of uh, low pass filter sort of sweeping the sound down now. So we can go to the voicing tab, give the sound three voices. Give the sound a bit of width by turning the pan position on, turn the pitch cutoff on, and then just slide this down a little bit. Make it mono. You don't have to make it mono. Keep it polyphonic if you wanted to do some chords in there. And um, one of the next things we could do is maybe start putting some effects into the sound. So if we go for a synced delay and we pull the wire dry wet down a little bit, I'm going to have the left channel is going to be one over four, the right channel two over four, and just play with some of these values. You know, until we've got something that we quite that sounds quite nice for uh, effects two. I'm going to have a dimension expander, but it's not going to be too crazy. Be quite subtle with it, really, just giving the sound a little bit of space. I think that's pretty much there with the sound now. We can uh, add a bit of EQ, maybe just give it a bit of top end and a bit of low end. And then one final thing, if you noticed, I've rooted all the os oscillators to both filter one and filter two, and we haven't applied any amp modulation to oscillator three here. So if I can turn this volume up here, stop. It's an extra dimension to the sound, which takes it even further, which would be a nice thing to kind of automate if you're using this in the track. So uh, one final thing as well, add a little bit of feedback to the sound just to beef it up a little bit more. And that's, that's it pretty much, the deep tech sequence. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope it's given you some ideas for making your own sequences in Native Instruments Massive. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.